I want to share a concept with you that I call TAGS, and it's spelled T-A-G-S, T-A-G-S. Okay, the T stands for talents, the A stands for abilities, the G stands for gifts, and the S stands for skills. What does the T stand for? The A? The G? The S? Everyone in here, we all have now let me tell you what your tags are. Your tags are your natural born strengths. Your tags are what comes easy to you, but is difficult for other people. Every person sitting in this room, we all have a special uniqueness about us. And when we use our tags, this is when you do your greatest work. And here's what I always share with my students. Do not pick a major, do not go into a profession or choose an occupation just for the Here's what I want you to think about. I want you to think about this story. Because I grew up on the west side of Chicago, I grew up in a single parent home. When I was in college, the only thing I was thinking about was? So I chose a major based on? When I would take classes, I was thinking about how could this class help me make more? Now here's the thing I want you to think about. I want you to think about sustainable motivation. Now here's what I mean by that. Here's what research says. If you pick a job, a career, or a profession just for money, you have a high probability of burning out. Here's what research says. 90% of Americans hate their jobs. How many know people that hate their jobs? They get up and go to work every day, but they hate what they do. Do you know when most heart attacks occur? Monday morning between 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. because it's people getting up, going to work, doing work that they hate. Now I want to show you how to sustain motivation over a lifetime. You got to use your tags, baby. You got to do what was meant for you to do, what's inside of you. Now here's what I want you to think about. If you haven't figured out what you're going to study, I'm going to give you some things to actually journal about and think about when you leave here. So number one, as you're trying to decide what are my tags? What am I meant to do? What should I do with my life? What am I going to be when I grow up? Number one, ask yourself, if money was no option, what would you do for free? And when you truly address this question, it allows you to think internally. It allows you to reflect inside and say, you know what? What makes me happy? Because see, when you're using your tags, you get strength. Now what's funny is, people say, do you like speaking? Do you like teaching? And I say, no, I love teaching. I love speaking, it gives me energy. But I want you to think about what activities give you energy? What gets you excited? What are you passionate about? So sometimes people pick things exclusively for money. Now here's what I want you to understand. I know that money matters. I know that money is important. Money affords you to live a certain lifestyle. You heard my bio, I love to eat crab legs. And crab legs are expensive sometimes. But money does allow you to do certain things. So when I was 22 years old, I had just finished graduate school. My first job out of college, I worked for none other than Frito-Lay. You ever eaten Frito-Lay products? Yes. So I was a district sales manager. You ever see those trucks driving around town? I was 22 years old, and I was responsible for a group of 15 people. Now everyone, this is 15 years ago. 15 years ago, they gave me a base salary of $36,000. And then I was on a commission plan. So my first year at 22, I made $55,000. I mean, they were excited. My manager takes me to an Olive Garden in Coon Rapids, Minnesota, and he says, young man, let me tell you something. He says, you are on fire. He says, about time you are 25, you should be making $100,000. I was like, yeah, baby. And then he says, Jermaine, if you keep that momentum going, by the time you're 30, you should be making a quarter of a million dollars. Now, everyone, I grew up generational poverty, generational welfare. So that was big for me. Three years into it, everyone, I quit my job. Everyone in my family thought I was crazy. Why would you do that? Here's what happened. I didn't love what I was doing. Everyone, here it is. I'm making money, but I'm bored. 
I'm making money, but I'm not excited. So I began to talk to myself. I said, Jermaine, can you do this for the next 20, 30 years? And when I deeply answered that question and said no, I said, you know what? It got to be something more important than this. Now, everyone, my college professors had told me, Jermaine, you should teach. But I didn't want to teach. You know why? I said, teachers are broke. And I said to myself, why would I pick a profession and be broke? I've been broke all of my life. But see, everyone, I had these tags, these talents, these abilities, these gifts, and these skills inside of me. And they needed to come out. See, there's tags inside of you that need to come out. See, there are people in here who are architects. There are people in here that you need to be a social worker. There are people in here that are going to be computer programmers. There's people in here that's going to be entrepreneurs. There's people in here that's going to go into theater. There, there's going to be so many things that you can do. But the thing I want you to think about is to ask yourself, what are my tags? What am I meant to do? How will I make the universe better? Do you know when you use your tags, you contribute to the world? When you use your tags, you make the universe better? This is a true story, everyone. I live in St. Paul. So today, I'm at a Caribou Coffee, and I'm going over my notes for this presentation. And there's this guy who's walking out. And as I'm looking at my notes, you ever feel like someone's staring at you? So this guy's doing this. So you know, I kind of look up. So I kind of look up, and I try to get my little manly look like. And he says, excuse me. He says, are you Jer I said, Jermaine. He says, Jermaine Davis. I said, yeah. He says, you spoke at my junior high. I said, you remember that? He says, yeah. Then you spoke at my high school. I said, what are you doing now? He says, I'm studying to be a police officer. I said, look at me. Check me out in case you ever have to stop me. And he says, I'm studying to be a police officer. I said, good for you. And then as he walked out, everyone, he says, hey, keep doing what you do. He said, that meant a lot to me. 